six years. And um, we talked about the fact that we like to help businesses turn their customers into raving fans. So that's what I do on a daily basis, and this is my hashtag deal story. I started the company in uh, August 2014 after quitting Salesforce, actually at Salesforce the day before. And um, one of the first things that struck me at the time was that a uh, new competitor, since I just started the company as a uh, implementation firm in the Salesforce role, said, hey, you should join EO. And uh, you know, he had been at for 10 plus years, was extremely successful, and I didn't know what EO was, but uh, I thought that I should check it out. And what really struck me about him was just how progressive he was with respect to uh, you know, how much he was into peer development, how much he was coming from an abundance mentality around, you know, hey, there's tons out there for all of us. Um, you know, this has been incredible for me. He was super active in his Boston chapter, and after I looked into it, it turned out that I wasn't eligible to, to join based on revenue. And so, um, fast forward to January 2017, and uh, just about three years into my company, was having the best year I've ever had. And um, that's in the middle of our Q4. We go until the end of January for our end of year. And at that point, we were uh, a three-person company, feeling pretty confident about things. I had uh, I was doing all the sales, and I had two uh, senior technology people actually delivering on our software implementation projects. When all of a sudden they decided to come to me and tell me that they were going to leave. And uh, not only that, but they were going to start a company that was going to compete with us. <laughs> and uh, we're in the middle of our last month of our uh, end of year, and uh, I mean, it was devastating. You know, not only the business impact, they actually came to me from uh, my best friend from grade seven. Uh, his, uh, one of his technology leaders came through that way. You never think that something like this could happen, and thought, okay, well, they want to grow with me forever. And so it was, it was devastating, and uh, the personal impact on top of, on top of that part was was really, really tough. And um, I think as we've all had to do at certain times in our entrepreneurial life, I really just put my head down and focused on new people, because they're not the ones anymore. Focus on new people and um, was able to uh, you know, keep the lights on and, and make things happen. But the thing at the time was, uh, I thought back to that recommendation about EO and I thought, maybe I should check this out. And I definitely know I don't want to go through this ever again. So let's see what the EO thing is all about. So I checked back. Turned out I was eligible that time for uh, EOA, the accelerator program. And so uh, you know, reached out to the website, uh, went through the onboarding process. At least three or four people kind of took me from one person to the next. And um, I don't know if Sean Majority is here, but I just remember that he was going to give me the, the basics of the program. Like, okay, we're on installed because entrepreneurs don't like listening to somebody else and uh, <laughs> where uh, you can't sell to each other and like, oh yeah. And everything that he said almost trying to sell it to me was, I'm in, yep, good, yep, yep, okay, what's next? Got it. So um, and luckily uh, was, you know, well, there was no selling needed for Sean or anyone in ER, that's for sure. So luckily <coughs> so early part of twenty seventeen, um, the first learning day of the year, the four learning days within the away with people. And so it was dying to get started because of that. Um, and you know, so it was an incredible way to get started with, with the accelerator. And once I did, um, you know, got connected with an incredible accountability group, as well as a fantastic <coughs> coach, and uh, got involved in you know as much as I possibly could in whether social events or um, you know, with TOA or EO or you know, sport events where I had a chance to meet uh, so many more amazing people within uh, the organization. And um, so through all that, you know, it's just been an incredible, uh, incredible experience. And as we go through now, you know, it's obviously a very personal story for me. But when people talk about, you know, EO, you know, I guess I don't think that I took this from anywhere. I think that's trademark, so we can all you know, quote me whenever you might use this. That is about the structure and support. You know, I never would have known about, say, in EOA, it's all about scaling up, uh, you know, and so as I've gone through that, you know, and now we do use EOS, we've been that for about two years, so the structure side is that I would have had no idea about these, you know, methodologies to, to scale your business, 
And um, so a huge amount of structure that uh, I mean, we gained through this whole experience. And then the support, you know, as a solo founder and owner, um, you know, having a chance to be, uh, you know, around all these individuals like yourselves, focused on constant improvement and, uh, you know, so there to help and the peer development, um, you know, really that support side and being a solo founder, not having partners or, um, uh, you know, anyone else, you know, I've done all those type of things. So having a board of directors, let's say, forum, those kind of things, you know, was a you know, massive impact. So, you know, that's really been the keys for me and my EO story. I think that, you know, the impact of EO has just been immeasurable for me personally and from a business standpoint. And uh, thank you to you all in the room, everyone I met along the way, and to EO and EO 